Hey, what's going on everyone? This is I Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 iPhone features that I believe most iPhone users don't know about. These are features that are actually pretty useful, will allow you to do much more and do things easier and faster on your iPhone. Yet a lot of users most likely won't be using these features on a daily basis, probably never even heard of most of these features. And we're starting things off with Safari. So when you're on Safari, you're on a web page, you're trying to find something on that web page, let's say like a certain word or name, the easiest way to do that is simply by tapping the search bar. So when you tap right there, it seems like you're out of the website, but it's not like that. Just type here whatever you want to search on that website, just like you would be doing when doing a Google search. So once I have typed whatever I want to just search on that website, we have Google suggestions here, but you don't click into those. You go right here at the bottom and it says, find on this page you tap right there it takes you back to the website and it gives you the results here are the words you have searched for it's very very easy to do and of course a very convenient now with the changes that apple has done in the last few years you know that going to the edit mode on the home screen is a different way to do that you 3d touch on the one of the apps and you can tap on edit home screen right here but another way which you can do this an easier way in my opinion to go to the edit mode is tap and hold an icon of an app it shows a 3d touch menu just keep holding for another second and now it goes straight to the edit mode of the home page without you having to tap another button now this right here is a very very useful feature. I think like a lot of iOS users maybe don't know about this feature or have forgotten about this feature and don't actually use it on their iPhone but it's very very useful. And we're talking here about something called voice isolation. Now the best way maybe to use this is with FaceTime because most of the time or whenever you're talking to FaceTime you will be on speaker so you want to isolate the voice so you get the best quality voice through FaceTime. The way to do that once you have opened FaceTime just bring down the control center. It shows right there the top mic mode it will say standard you tap right there and you will have here a few different options make sure you choose voice isolation and this is the best one that you choose and this will give you the best quality sound when you're speaking to someone through FaceTime. Now of course the best scenario would be that you and the other person in the conversation both have this enabled so both of you will get the best result out of FaceTime. Now one thing that I don't see anyone actually use on their iPhone is the three finger menu. So there is a menu on your iPhone that will come up once you tap with three fingers on the screen of your device. So whenever you're typing something or editing a text or maybe editing something else like a picture or something like that, you tap with three fingers and you will have there a menu which will have a few different options like undo, cut, copy, paste, and redo. So whenever you're typing something or doing something here, anytime you can just tap with three fingers and you will get that menu that allows you to do those things very, very easy. So just three fingers like that, undo, cut, copy, paste, or redo anything you're typing. Now, if you use the fitness app on iOS, you will have a great feature here that you will probably use whenever you wanna share stuff with your friends. If you wanna share your activity with your friends from the fitness app of iOS, there's a very easy way to do that, the 3D touch menu. I know a lot of people probably have forgotten about the 3D touch menus and they don't use them no more on their iPhones, but they're very useful. So 3D touch right here, it says send my activity, just like that, you can go ahead and share your activity. It shows you the activity here, and you can just go ahead and share the today's activity. Now, one cool thing you can do with 3D touch menus will be found on the photos icon. So any day of the year, whenever you wanna see the photos from the exact day last year, all you have to do on the photos icon, just 3D touch right there, and it has a button that says one year ago. You tap right there and it will show you all the pictures that have been taken with your iPhone a year ago on the exact date as today. Now here's another must know for iPhone users and this is very very useful, will save you a lot of time 
head on to your settings app and find the phone settings. Go under your phone settings and right here, you will find something called silence unknown callers. You go here and enable this feature. Now, what this will do is that it will silence all the calls from unknown numbers. So if you have been getting like spam calls and things like that, you enable this, the incoming calls will basically be on the recent calls on the phone app. So you open the phone app, you will find the calls there, but they won't ring on your iPhone, won't interrupt you at all. You will just see them then back on the list. Now here's another hidden menu on iPhones that probably a lot of people don't use. Well, they probably have seen this menu and you see it throughout the day, but do you use it properly? Like if I just highlight that word, what I can do from this menu right here is I can Google any word that I highlight on any text on my device. Whether that, uh, that would be maybe on a message, maybe I'm on the notes, wherever I find a text and I highlight something, I can just go ahead and tap here on lookup and it will show here dictionary, but I can also tap right here on search web and this will actually do a Google search of the word that I have highlighted. And these right here are two shortcuts that I think every iPhone user must use. One call shut down, one restart. Well, you can call them any way you want, but that's what they do. The easiest way to actually restart your iPhone, just you tap here, you're good to go. It restarts your iPhone. You want to shut it down. You don't have to go through settings, general, or do the volume up, volume down stuff. You just tap one button and you're good to go. Now you can create them easily on your shortcuts app. Just head on to shortcuts, tap the plus button and tap on add action, search for shutdown. They have shutdown, you tap here, you tap the dumb button and it's done. You have the shortcut. If you wanna create the restart one as well, you do the same thing, you create a new shortcut, you search for shutdown and once you come to this step, you tap on shutdown right there and switch to restart. Now you have created that shortcut. Once you have these created, if you want to have them on your home screen, simply 3D touch on any of them, tap on the share button and just go ahead and add them to your home screen. And last but not least, we're talking about weather. Well, did you know that on your iPhone, you can actually get real time notifications for your weather. Just head on to the weather app, go to the list of the cities that you have added, tap on the three dots right there, tap on notifications and then enable notifications from here. So let's just allow notifications and then you will have here your location. So of course you can choose for each location what kind of notifications you wanna get. So if we go to New York right here, we have some weird weather and we also have next hour right there. I can go ahead and just enable notifications for that. And of course I can do that individually for each of the cities that I have on my weather app. So that is it for this video guys. Hope you guys learned something new today with these cool new features of the iPhones. Well, most of them are actually kind of old, but of course a lot of people don't know about them, don't use them on their device. So yeah, hope you learned something new. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.